the city does not have nearly enough services for people experiencing violence. The Austin City Council facing community members today for the first time since before the pandemic. This was the first public hearing regarding the city's proposed budget. And many speakers say Austin's attempts at reimagining public safety don't go far enough. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark looks at what was and was not funded. It goes with you wherever you are. Tara Tucker uh, has met a lot of trauma survivors over the years. And I've learned that they're very resilient, that they have been taking care of themselves and, and you know, fighting through these traumas on their own, and they shouldn't have to do that. Many of our community partners. An advocate for the Alliance of Safety and Justice, she urged City Council to fund a trauma recovery center in Austin. There are 34 of these in the U.S. providing free therapy and case management for crime victims. No police report needed. For lots of reasons, people don't report. They either feel that um, police have let them down or that they don't know that they can prove what's happened to them. It was one of the recommendations made by the Reimagining Public Safety Task Force earlier this year. Most focused on service for survivors of violent crime, but few were included in the city's proposed budget. What is the biggest obstacle right now to implementing the reimagining public safety task force recommendations? We need to uh, do our best to make sure that some of these recommendations from the community coming from the community get funded. Councilmember Greg Kassar says ultimately the city is trying to balance its needs and its current funding obligations. What city manager Spencer Cronk did include in the proposed budget was just shy of two million to cover some of the recommendations. More money for the Office of Violence Prevention, more training for victim services counselors, and funding for a guaranteed income project. Really what we're looking to do is make sure we can fund every piece um, the community is asking for, even if we can't fully get there to the full amount. As for a trauma recovery center, a City of Austin spokesperson told me analysis of that recommendation is still in progress. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. The Austin City Council will have opportunities to make changes to the proposed budget. Another meeting for community feedback will be coming up next Thursday. City Council will discuss the input, input at work sessions next Tuesday and on August 3rd. The final budget scheduled to be adopted on August 11th. Well, also on the proposed budget, a $442 million budget for the Austin Police Department next year. That is a record high. It includes funding for two more cadet classes. It also includes more than $65 million to continue funding the city's response to homelessness. You can read what's in the proposed budget on our website, kxan.com.